let's talk about passive income and making money while you sleep. You can make money while you sleep. Don't let anybody fool you. That's really, you want to, that's, that's kind of like a, um, an expression that you're making money while you sleep. It's not, it may be an oversimplification in some examples, in some instances, and not so much in others. When we're talking about passive income and making money while you sleep, like most things in life, all things are not created equally. There's some you can make while you totally asleep. You can sleep for a week or two and not even worry about it. Others, you might be jumping up in the middle of the night because things are happening you have to attend to. So you might your sleep might be interrupted. Some you gotta work, some you gotta work, do a little work on. Some you got to do a lot of work on. So a lot of things have been thrown into that passive income basket. It's like, yeah, you're making money while you sleep, but you did a heck of a lot of work before you lay down. <laughs> so it was a lot of it's relative. A lot of it's relative. But I do like that concept that um, when I can, I'm laying in the bed at night and I'm making money, that it doesn't mean that I didn't do some work before I lay down. So there's varying degrees of passive income. There's some investments that um, that that are just totally passive. Like if you invested in the stock market or some other type of assets that are just out here making money. I mean, you still got to watch it though. That's why I say you want to make that money while you sleep, but you better count it when you wake up. You can't just leave it hands off, even with the stocks. They're making money out there while you're sleeping, and even during the day, you're not you're not hands on. But you can't totally ignore because things change. The market changes, uh, situation changes, your financial situation can change. And so regardless of the type of income, passive, partial passive, all passive, you still have to take some type of, you have to watch it. That's why you make your money while you sleep, but don't oversleep. <laughs> I mean, there's the, um, there's some, passive income that still requires work and you say why is this pass why do we call this passive income because even though you're doing the work most of the time it continues to generate revenue when you're not working okay let's make that distinction now if you go into a job and they're paying you they're paying you just for that time you're there when you could punch out <laughs> the work stops and the payment stops well there's some forms of passive income that you may be actually working during the day, but it continues to generate revenue after you stop your physical labor. So that's why some people say, hey, well, that's not really a passive income because I still had to do the work. Well, you did the work, but you didn't, you were making money even when the work stopped. So let's look at some opportunities, some things where you can actually make money while you sleep of what we might call passive income. Now, the number one that most people think about is investment. But even with investments, you can't just throw your money out here. You just can't say, look, Gatewood say I can make money while I sleep, so let me go out here and buy some, invest in this stock or invest in this business opportunity or invest in this franchise or invest in these vending machines or invest in these pay phones. That's another story. <laughs> you have to invest it, but you have to make sure that it's a good investment. So you want to talk to somebody to make sure that you're making the right decision as far as your investments. Uh, another popular form of uh, passive income and that very relatable to many people and it's usually within a lot of people's uh, pay grade is vending machines, games, laundromats, ATMs. Now, those have been around many years and they'll, they'll, the, the, the countenance will change from one time to another. Like ATM machines have not always been around. Uh, vending machines have been around almost as long as vending has been around, but we're seeing other types of vending machines. We're seeing hair, we're seeing Carvana has a car vending machine. <laughs> I still don't get that one. Um, but once again, make the money while you sleep but you got to count it when you wake up. All these machines in the right location. Once again, I'm not proud of my experience, 
But yes, I have been I have been on the receiving end of income, passive income through a vending machine. Well, they were pay farms. And location was pivotal. Just because you have a, a, a passive income vehicle, like a vending machine, you could put it in the wrong place. There are things like theft, there's things like weather, accessibility. You have to weigh these factors. They look like a good idea, but you have to weigh the factors when you're making these kind of decisions. Just because somebody else made money doing it doesn't mean you're going to make it because sometimes you're doing apples to grapefruit comparison. They had theirs in the middle of a mall and yours out here on the side of the street in the, in the hood. <laughs> People breaking into it every other day. So you have to weigh certain factors when you decide on whether this the vending machine is going to be a good opportunity or not. I hear the popular one, uh, selling online courses. And if selling online courses, there's really two types. One is really passive and one is kind of quasi passive. The really passive one is where people can do what we call self study. Now you've got to put in the work to create that module, that, that course. You've got to have the content. You got to sometimes get certification, whether it's through the, the PC, the CPE or whatever. Yeah, you have to put in some time to get the certifications if you're going to the people are going to be getting some type of cert certificate at the end of that course so you have the the uh self-study you do the work you put the course online you use a platform like think epic or teachable put the course up and you can literally now go fishing <laughs> you go to the island your yacht or whatever people use to kind of uh, graphically show people making money while they sleep so that's one way for online courses where you're doing you're doing like what we call a self-study course. You put it out there and really you don't have to do anything. You might upgrade it every now and then to make sure everything is still relevant. But you, at the end of the day, just go count your money. How many people signed up? It did not require any ongoing work on your behalf. But then there's also the group study type courses where you actually you set up the course, but you actually have to step there and, and go through the course with the students. Sometimes that's for those a lot of those certification courses. They might require the instructor to be present. So there's two types of courses online that can create you passive income and make that money while you sleep. Uh, here's one that's that's available to all, and that's a book, writing a book. I have a client right now, and man, I'm telling you, I've seen it firsthand. You can make a ton of money if you write a good book. And you're, this is really passive income. This is this is this is the consummate passive income vehicle. You once again, you've got to write the book. OK, you got to write the book that comes from knowledge. That comes from years of experience. You didn't just wake up one morning and had this great idea. You did that great book came from some type of body of knowledge and experience. So you've done the time. But now that you can you can capitalize on that by writing a book and literally from that point on it's just a matter of keeping the book stocked if you're talking about a physical stock a physical book or pay on demand a print on demand type of you do going through ingram spark or uh, the thing that amazon offers you can actually not even have to worry about even shipping the book or printing it everything can be done virtually so a book is a very good way to create some passive income and make that money while you sleep now, I know this young man is making money while he sleep because we manage his website and we just see the ching, 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 ching. Every now and then we got to go out and place a ton of book orders, bring in the books, send them out to a distributor who does the distribu distri distribution, and all he has to do is count his money. Uh, create a blog. Uh, I'm going to throw this one in, in the same category with the uh, YouTubers. Uh, you create a blog or a YouTube channel and you promote a certain product. And you can do that through his affiliate program. Let's say you use on an affiliate program like Link Share or Share a Sale or Commission Junction, and then you you do a blog where you're promoting that product on your channel. And each time somebody clicks on the link that you put on there or the link that you give out, you actually get paid. And you can do this even when the blog when you're not on there doing it. You can actually do the blog and then you do it in repeat. You can run it again even when uh, your people come in and look at it later. You still have to put in the time, but you can get paid on it as long as that blog or along as long as that channel is actually running. Um, build an online store. Obviously, that's a good one. Selling products online, shirts, cups, mugs, specialty products, 
things like that. Great uh, passive income. Um, rental property, that's a work involved. Now that's, no, you, you want to know what you're doing when you do that. I mean, I know a lot of people are talking about buying and flipping houses and that market has really taken off. A lot of people are doing it right now. So you want to, you're going to run, it's not as easy as you might think. You want to do your homework and talk to some folks. You might partner with somebody, uh, but that is not as a, a, a quickly as, as a turnkey as you might think it is. And like everything else, there are a lot of big players out there and the market has gotten very saturated. So you want to really think about that rental property, flipping houses. It is a good opportunity, but you want to give it a little some thought. Just don't just jump into it. Uh, if you have rental space, you have uh, room in your home or your office, you have excess space or idle capacity, you can rent out some of that space. Uh, Airbnb did a whole business model based on people using their uh, capa uh, idle capacity. But that is a good way to uh, rent out uh, to make some passive income, even even equipment. I have a client that also rents out equipment. And I thought that was really ingenious. He goes out and buys these 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 uh, hard to uh, purchase products. We've seen them in the store sometimes, like these uh, uh, carpet cleaning machines and things like that. Well, you can go out and buy, or even you can do a rental. I mean, you can rent out something that you're renting. And but now you have to once again, you have to put a system in place. But it's a good way to make passive income. Now you got to do the work. You say how that passive because you can get paid on this. You put that thing in somebody's house and they out there using it for a month or two like wedding equipment and things like that that you're getting paid you're not doing the work it's passive it's another stream of income so renting on anything tends to be a pretty good source of uh passive income so i'm giving you some ideas on some of the popular ways and kind of give me some more pushback on what's hard what's what's realistic and the last one i'm going to throw in uh domain names so once again it's kind of got a little saturated a lot of the good names are taken but you can buy a good domain name and put those names out there in places like GoDaddy. They have like auction sites where you can put those names out there. You go buy a domain for nine dollars and you can turn that domain around for hundreds, in some cases, thousands of dollars. There are so many ways out here that you can make passive income. What I'm going to say is that, first of all, you can make money while you sleep, but you got to wake up and check on it every now and then. <laughs> Don't just go to sleep and say, hey. I'll be rich in the end because that wagon go off the road. You're going to have some sleepless nights. So, yes, another thing is that don't take the word um, passive too literally because there are going to be situations where you will not, you'll be getting paid while you're not actually doing the work. But there are periods where you have to step in and wiggle the wires, put things back on track. Sometimes it could be passive, half passive, half working. But the whole concept is that you want to create a revenue generating streams of income that are ongoing.